Hello everyone, this is Prem Kumar. In this video, I am going to answer one of the most common question which many people have asked me. Is there any job opportunities for Pega Freshers? A short answer can be, it's not that easy, but I would not say there is no opportunity for Pega Freshers. There are little opportunities. But before that, let me explain you how a job opening happens in a service based company. Let's take XYZ is a banking organization and they want to build out a Pega application. So definitely they need some Pega engineers to build the Pega application. They may have different service provider vendors like TCS, Cognizant, HCL. There can be different service provider vendors and different organization may have their own preferred vendors. Let's say Cognizant is the preferred vendor for the XYZ organization. Now they will ask the delivery manager of Cognizant to deliver a team, a Pega team that can help with building this Pega application. That is where the resource allocation takes place, the billing takes place. The service provider's delivery manager will try to assemble a team. Maybe first they may look for the internal assignment, the internal Cognizant employees. If they can't find any internal assignments within Cognizant, then they may have some job openings, maybe a post published in LinkedIn where you can apply for jobs and interviews can be conducted to hire some external candidates. So mostly if you take a Pega team, there will be a lead system architect, there will be some senior system architect, there will be some system architects. So system architect usually we consider it like a two year experience. So all these job openings, they may have a minimum requirement of two years of Pega experience. That is why in most of the service based companies job openings, you will not find the job openings for Pega freshers. And one more thing is these service based companies, they may have their own academy where they will train some freshers into different technologies. In 2013, I was trained into the Pega technology and then I was assigned to a project as a trainee. Similarly, the service based companies, they can train the freshers into different technologies and there can be few Pega badges coming out each year and they may get assigned to different projects. Again, most of the time, this will be like a random assignment. You cannot decide under which technology you may get trained. So this I have seen in most of the academy in the service based companies. So this is all about the job opportunities in any service based company. Next is Pega also they have their own UAP program, the university academy program where they go to universities or colleges and then they train the people, maybe the third year or the fourth year people, they may get trained with the Pega technology and they may also appear for the system architect and senior system architect exams. Now the Pega partners like the service based company or the startup companies, they may go to the college and they may have the campus drive where they can hire the freshly trained college graduates. So now you may ask me, so where is the opportunity for freshers? For freshers, I would say the opportunity lies within the startup companies. If you see LinkedIn, that definitely you will find at least few job openings for freshers drive and specifically that will be for some kind of startup based companies. The main reason for startup companies hiring freshers is also like the budget allocation because the freshers, they may get paid less and so they can easily accommodate a lot of freshers into their projects. I'm not saying bad about startups because with startup, you will really have a quick learning path. You can learn a lot of things in a startup based company. So if you fall into this category, like if you did your own self learning or if you got training into external institute and you completed your system architect, then definitely you should have a keen look at the LinkedIn post. Meanwhile, keep yourself up to date with the new features because in the lot of job openings, they will expect the candidates to be very good in the Pega 8 futures. As a final advice, I would say never try for fake experience resume. I have seen people, I have took interview for those fake profiles as well and they have struggled really when they get into the project. So please don't try that. And I wish you all the best for your Pega fresher job hunting. Good luck.